There we go. Okay. Welcome, everyone. Nice to see you here for Coaching and Conversation. I'm Candy Motsek, for those of you who don't know me, and I'm really pleased that you've joined me. This is something that I do most Mondays. I missed last Monday because it was a holiday here in Canada, in BC specifically. Um, but most Mondays, I just come on here and we just have a kind of a quiet, reflective discussion. Sometimes I give you some journaling thoughts to work on and we actually do it together on the call. I know how busy it can be. And so just giving this little bit of time to start your week, starting it intentionally can be really helpful. So let's dive in. Oh, before we dive in, I want to invite you to join me for the month of June. I have a mini coaching program that is starting. It is called the Accountability Project. It starts June 1st, and we're doing a kickoff meeting. And then there are four small group coaching calls. So what's going to happen is each participant is going to choose a project, something that they have been meaning to get done. And they're going to decide. And then over the month, we're going to go hand in hand, and you're going to get your project done. So I would love to invite you to join me. I'm going to put the link in the chat. You can check it out. And yeah, let's hope to see you there. Okay. So today, I want to talk about desire, I think. I've been thinking a lot about this and I would really, I think it's really useful for us to look closely at what we really want, really what we say we want and what do we actually want. And so we're gonna start with a little bit of, I'm gonna ask you a question then I'm gonna give you a minute or two to write your answers. I hope you have paper. Um, a journal would be a great thing. I always have a journal. I do all these things at the same time. And let me just get my timer ready so that we can go through that. So it's going to start with a super simple question. And I want you to just keep your pen moving for the entire two minutes that I give you. The way this works and the way our brains like to work is it will answer it kind of at that surface level. So you might write the answers and then you think I'm done and you'd be tempted to stop. But this is the place where I would really encourage you to keep writing, keep that pen moving, even if it's exactly the same things that you're repeating over and over, even if you're doodling, I don't know what else to write. But what you're going to find is that you do that for a little while and it's like you've sort of given yourself permission and you will come up with new ideas. And so these deeper ideas. Hi, Karen. Glad to see you here. We're just starting with some journaling. Um, and so grab your pen and paper and I'm going to start on that now. So the question is, it sounds so simple. I want to know what do you want? And I want you to take two minutes that I give you. And I want you to write, what do I want? And I want you to write a list, all kinds of things for your business, in your life, for your health, for the world, whatever. So we're gonna get going. All right, what do you want? If you get jammed up, you just keep writing.
you got 30 more seconds. If you get stuck, even the little things. One of the things on my list was a clean car. I need to clean my car. Okay, two minutes is up. So what was that like? Answering that simple question, what do I want? What was that like for you? You can either put something in the chat or you can take yourself off mute and share with me. What were your thoughts? Now I see you're not on mute. Did you wanna share something? Hmm. Craig, you want a lot of things. Good. Give me an example. What's one of the things you want? Stability for my family. Okay. What does that look like? Get super specific. What would stability for your family look like? Yeah, me too. I want peace in the world that we all live in. Yeah. Thank you, Karen. I think we could all use a dose of that right now. A daily space where we all feel supported and connected. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So a daily space. You know, I have a client, Craig, I don't know if, um, um, that what she did, her sons are quite, are both in university now, but they created very intentionally a dinner time space because they were all so busy in their life and they just came together at dinner time just to be together, which was kind of interesting. It does, and that the only reason I share that with you is because Sometimes the simple way is good enough, right? Like there's so much we've got going on in the world right now. And sometimes just that simplest, easiest path is the way that's the most effective. Yeah. Daniel, what did you have to say? I saw you popped a little note in there. It was good to dream big. Excellent. Did it feel, how did it feel? Did it feel expansive? Did it feel overwhelming to think what do I want did it feel um pressure or did it just kind of feel relaxing what was it what was it like take me a note relaxing interesting yeah Anybody else? All right, let's move on. So now that you've thought about some of the things that you want, I have two ways that I can go. So the first way would be for me to say to you, and what else? What else do you want in your life that you haven't touched on yet? And there is a little bit of that coupled with this idea about what do you have in your life right now that was something that you used to want you know so what desire did you have that is now a reality in your life that maybe you just take for granted got it thanks daniel for sharing sometimes those computer things happen right let's go down so let's go down that path so what do you already have now in your life that used to be something that you wanted and now you just take for granted? I'm gonna give you a minute to reflect on that. And again, write, 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 write. That connection between the pen and your hand and your brain and the paper I might discover something new. Let me give you a minute.
right. So what did you discover with that question? What do I have in my life now that I wanted and now I actually have it? So again, you can either type in an answer or you can take yourself off mute and share. Either way works for me. Mm. Yeah, that's important. And Craig, like before you had that partner, was that something that you would have put on my, the I want, I want list. Uh, I really want a partner to share my life with. Yeah. Do you find that it's easy to forget how much you desired that once you have it. And I'm, and I'm not talking about it from a, not, not saying like taking it for granted, I'm not um, implying that at all, but just that as humans, we have things that we want, we have desires, and then we forget that we're living the life that we really wanted before. And we're often so caught up in the next thing and the next thing and the next thing that we just kind of forget to pause and sort of take stock of what some of those things were. Karen, what do you think? Is that something that rings true to you or not? And I found something to add to my want list. I want a pen that's not leaking, but might be not, maybe not today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, I was just um, sharing with a client in the previous call how long it took me to actually do my coach training and then become a coach and then become a full-time coach and quit my job. And it's in five years, it took me forever. It was something that I wanted and I just never allowed myself to do it. And now here I am and I kind of forget that it was like such a big thing for me to desire that. And then now like, this is my life, right? Like how lucky do I get to be able to talk to people and coach them all day long? It's just great. It's the best thing ever. Yeah. Daniel, what do you think? Any, any eye openers for you? And now I know that you're there and it would seem that you're just not able to be typing right now. And so, oh, and you're the no typing kind too? Fine. So this is just gonna be instead of instead of that, it's just gonna be me talking at you instead of interacting. Okay. All right. So that's this is what I found is that I always have a laundry list of things that I want. There are some things that I want that I really deeply desire, and others that are just kind of like those surface things, like a clean car. I can have a clean car today and then it'll turn around and get mucky with my dog another day yeah more freedom interesting what kind of freedom daniel if you can if your typing is allowing you to type let me know what kind of freedom you're looking for <laughs> more freedom to type how's that <laughs> fair enough can you take yourself or is that jammed up too nope so just a no-go okay fine so i find that that there's many things that I have right now that were real dreams for me. And like, you know, for those of you that know me, I work in my she shed in my backyard. You know, I really thought it would be so cool to have a she shed. And now I do. And we've just, um, we is a, an, a, an overstatement. My husband just finished laying a paver patio outside the front of the shisha. So I've got a really great patio to sit on now and the flower boxes are flowering and it's just, it's just wonderful. It's a really a dream come true for me. So now 
still on this topic of desire, you've got some ideas of things that you would like to have that you want. You have some thoughts on what you already have, you, you used to want. Now, of all of that, if you just had to choose three things, what do you really, really, really want? What three things are those big rocks? Write them down. I don't know how hard it's going to be for you to make the choice. It'll give you a little bit of time for that as well. And of those three, choose one. What's the one thing that would make all the difference in your life? Let's put a little star beside it. And then if you can, and you feel bold, type it in the chat and share what it is with us. What's that one thing? All right, you guys are not able to type, not typing. That's why. So the next question is, why don't you have it? Why don't you have that thing yet? Why don't you have that quality yet? I'm going to give you a minute to kind of ponder that. Why don't I have it? No problem, Craig. Thanks for joining. All right. So have you had some ideas about why you don't have that thing yet? For those of you who can't type, you can nod or shake your head. We can do sign language. I'm not very good with American Sign Language, but you know. Do you have some thoughts? Why do you not have it? And I'll share with you some of mine. So the first for me is, it all stems back to deciding. You know, like I have some things that I want and at some point they go from being that kind of a, wouldn't it be nice, a dream or an aim or an intention to actually deciding to do it. You know, so a perfect example is this little June accountability project coaching program that I'm doing. I've wanted to do that for a while. And I kept thinking that would be really cool. That would be really fun. I want to do that. But it was only when I said, okay, no, I'm going to actually do it. And I decided to do this in the middle of April. And so I found that for me, this is something that often happens is that I want something and I don't decide to do it. 
And then there is the deciding. That's one, that's kind of the thing that happens like in an instant. You just like, nope, that's it. I'm going to do it. Deciding for me is kind of like ripping off a Band-Aid. Make the decision. And then you have to couple it with commit, commitment. So I decide and I commit. I decide and I commit. And truthfully, I decide and I commit every single day. I don't have to do everything in one fell swoop, but it's only in the deciding and then committing that I actually follow through. And so that little example about the accountability project, I've wanted to do it for a while. I finally decided to do it. And then the commitment was a little bit weird. I'm a person that once I've got that idea and I'm ready to go, I'm a fast action taker. But I decided I wanted to do it differently. I decided that I wanted to do it in a relaxed way. So I planned it back in the middle of April. I wrote all the emails. I did everything. It's ready to go. And it's been ready to go for weeks. And every day I decided and I committed. And I decided and I committed. So when I talk like that, does that make a difference in as you're thinking about what do I want and why don't I have it? Does deciding, is that one of the things? Or are you in progress creating it? What does it look like for you? Karen, do you want to share or are you still pondering? Okay. Now you could take yourself off mute and talk or you can type, that's your choice. And one of the interesting things is you never know how these coaching and conversation sessions are going to turn out and it just means that this one is an opportunity for somebody to follow along and use it more as a self-reflection instead of necessarily listening to all the conversation. And that's okay too. And so for people who are watching the replay, what are you finding about what you want? What do you really want? What do you already have that you used to want? And what's getting in your way of creating that thing that you want? Give yourself a little bit of time to think about that. Okay, cool. All right, what's our time like? We are almost half past. Now, what's the next step for you? You know, if there's something that you want. Is it that you just need to keep going? Have you already started or is it something that you need to start? So I'm going to give you a minute to kind of think about this. Like what's my actual next step? Not the next giant journey, but the next step. What is that thing that's going to help you? Let me put my timer on and then we're going to go. Twenty more seconds and then come back to me once you figured out your next step. Okay. So let me share this one um, additional thought with you is that so often you know, these 
things that we want. You know, maybe it's something like you had said, Daniel, about more freedom. Once you've gotten specific about what more freedom might look like, maybe it's maybe it's working less hours. Maybe it's having more freedom about where you spend time in your life. Maybe it's a million different things. But whatever that thing is that you want, and then you decide and you commit to actually creating that in your life, this idea of one bold move, and this is something that I've been playing with a lot, is that sometimes all it just takes is at the beginning of each day, I ask myself, as I'm in the middle of creating the next goal, you know, reaching that next goal, kind of working along. Sometimes it feels like it's hard. Sometimes it's going good. But this one bold move. So the question that I often ask myself is this. What is one bold move that I can take today? That's it. It's kind of a funny little question. And I really like it because it's very open. It doesn't mean that I have to do anything. But the more that I practice being bold, just in this little piece, the more it kind of spurs me on. And I'm thinking, well, what's one bold move that I could do today? And sometimes I fine tune it to what is one bold move that's going to move me closer to that big goal. And then I don't have to worry that I have a long ways to go. I only have to worry about today. And so often our progress, where we get hung up is because of a little bit of procrastination, a little bit of fear, a little bit of perfectionism, a little bit of self-doubt, a little bit of who knows, excuse making for whatever reason. But if we just do the one bold thing, and that's the only thing that we do, you actually know you're making progress. So consider that and think about maybe playing with that question for yourself. You know, every day, what's one bold move that I could take that would make a difference, that would move me in the direction that I want to go? What do you think? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. So that's it for today. Normally, we go a little bit longer, but we didn't have as much discussion. Tech problems. Whatever. I'm really glad that you guys joined me. And I hope that this was helpful, this kind of thinking about what you want. What do you want that you already have? And why don't you have that thing that you want yet? And what's one bold move that you could take to make it that much closer to becoming a reality? Okay. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a great week. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.